Well, it's summertime again and it sure is hot out. So today the key keeper and I are going to go over some things you can do to improve the efficiency of your window air conditioner for free. Because the more efficiently these things work, and they pull a lot of power, you know, this one right here is a 12,000 BTU unit and says it pulls 12 amps at 115 volts AC. That's a lot of power. In fact, most branch circuits in a home are only rated for 20. So the more efficiently this thing uses the power that it takes, the lower your electrical bill will be and the more comfortable you'll be too. So we're going to take this thing apart and show you how to do some things that can improve the performance and efficiency of your air conditioner if it's otherwise working fine. Now in order to take apart your own air conditioner, you'll need an assortment of basic hand tools, usually a set of nut drivers. Um, most, of the, most of the nuts on these are going to be about a quarter inch in size but yours may be metric, so plan accordingly. You'll also need a decently sized screwdriver. And remember, some of, the, uh, some of the fasteners on your air conditioner will be different. So as you take it apart, group them by where they went. You won't have any surprises when you go to put it back together. Now getting inside most air conditioners is not a big deal. All you need to do is just take apart the various exterior screws and gradually try to lift up the case until it comes free. Again, making sure to set aside the screws and fasteners because not all of them are alike. When you get inside, you might see why your air conditioner hasn't been performing too well in recent times, especially if it's an older unit. First thing to look at is the fan motor on the inside. Check and see if there's any place to insert oil. If there isn't, then you have a permanently lubricated motor and there's not too much you can do about it. If it's a little sluggish, you might try shooting some penetrating lubricant into each end of the shaft. Also look in here on the condenser coil to see if it's plugged up with dust like this one is. And then when you're done doing that, come out and look at the outside of the condenser coil. Now this particular air conditioner had a protective grill over the condenser, <clears throat> but it didn't really help too much because a number of these fins are still bent over. And the only thing you can do about that is to take a putty knife or a bladed screwdriver with a thin enough blade and try to straighten them out. The straighter you can get them, the more air can flow through there and the more efficiently your air conditioner will function. Also, once you have the unit apart, take a look at the evaporator coil because it's probably collected some dust as well. There's supposed to be a filter here, but if yours is missing the filter or even if it's just older, there might have been some dust get through the filter that's plugging it up. So how do you clean all that out? Well, you'll need your garden hose for this next part, and I would also suggest not wearing any clothes that you even remotely care about. Being careful of all the refrigerant lines, because if you break one of them, well, you'll be in the market for a new air conditioner and won't have to do this for a while. Turn the unit on its side. Start hosing it out. I'm going to get rid of all the built-up garbage in here. All this stuff that Mother Nature puts in your air conditioner because she thinks you want it there. See how much cleaner that's looking already? Don't sport your resident key keeper if he's around. Just clean all that out as best you can. All the dust. These things are pretty well sealed against weather, so you don't have to worry about getting them too wet. But if you do get some of the electrical parts wet, just let the thing dry before you plug it in. Now, after you've been cleaning for a while, the amount of crud inside the air conditioner should definitely be decreasing. You can look in there and see that our coils are looking cleaner too. Got all the dust off of them and there was quite a bit. It hurts to clean in here where all the condensate water usually flows from the coolness of the evaporator. And this fan might get dirty too. I'll cut your unit's efficiency by quite a bit. So just go over everything with clear, clean, fairly high pressure water, but not too high pressure because you could mash those fins. Now if your air conditioner is truly nasty enough to need it, a little bit of mild cleaner. Just pour a little bit in there around the various areas of the unit. Just pour some of that in there. You can use, you know, pine cleaner like this which might have the added benefit of uh, deodorizing your air conditioner if it's stinky or you can just use some kind of dish detergent. You don't want to use anything particularly abrasive when you're working on the unit. No fuming sulfuric acid or benzene or paint thinner or any of that stuff. 
And then just go over parts of it with a scrub brush. If you use this on the coils, be extremely careful because they are made of very thin metal and it does not take much to crush them flat and then you'll have to fix them, which is kind of a pain. Now, when you think you've got it clean enough, it's time for that dreaded part, straightening out these bent fins. As you can see, this unit has quite a few of them. This is why anybody who's planning on vandalizing an air conditioner on a building with exposed fins should not do it, because the people who fix them, they want to hurt you. <laughs> anyway, the idea is that you just start where the pins, where the fins, I'm sorry, start to bend over, and you just very, very gently delicately straighten them out so they're kind of standing back up. I doubt very much that you can get them to look like they did from the factory, but you should be able to clean them up quite a bit by just carefully straightening them. And remember, although this is a pain, the more of these you straighten out, the better your air conditioner is going to be at shedding its heat into the outdoors, the cooler it will keep you indoors. You'll also be able to clean your coils better if you straighten up all of these that are messed up. I'd anticipate on a, on a unit with an unprotected conten condenser coil that this might take you anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour, depending on how thorough you are about doing it. Well, there it is. It's a long and boring job, and you might want to actually bring a radio out to listen to while you're doing it. They don't look as good as they did from the factory, but there's really no practical way of doing that. Anyway, you might want to bring a radio out with you, and the neighbors have got one playing right now. It's got the most appropriate song I can think of. Never heard it before but it's got a line in it that goes, it's 110 degrees in the shade. Perfect song for working on air conditioners. Makes you want to get it done and back in the window. <laughs> you can see it's much, much cleaner inside here now, which is important because as this unit sweats off the evaporator coil, it's going to fill up with water here in the bottom, and this is going to do a couple of things. First of all, it's going to help the unit shed heat. As you can see, there's a set of uh, refrigerant lines running along the bottom there that got soaked underwater. It also helps keep the compressor cool, which is very important. Anyway, after you're done cleaning, it's time to look at the electrical aspects of the unit. Take a look at the plug on it. If you look at the plug on your unit, the terminals should look just like this. They should be shiny and either silver or copper colored. If they're, if they're dark, that means they're oxidized, and oxidation happens on high-energy electrical circuits, and it robs you of power transfer from one circuit to another. It can also be the difference between an air conditioner that works well and an air conditioner that works poorly and might even start a fire in your electrical outlet. If you find that your plug's contacts are oxidized, you can usually clean them off with a file or a bit of sandpaper. If you find that any of the prongs in your plug are loose or wiggly, or there's any burn marks or signs of distress, give serious thought to replacing the plug and consider replacing the outlet that the air conditioner plugs into as well, because that will lead to a fire. Now, once you've gotten your air conditioner all cleaned out, and you can see that it does look tremendously better inside there, inside and out, it's time to give it a little bit of a run-up. I won't be running at its most optimal. You ought to run it with the fan a little bit to make sure it dries itself out reasonably well. Just make sure that you've got airflow through the coils and all that good stuff. And make sure you're using a heavy enough cord to handle this because most air conditioners can pull fairly hard. Switch to the cool mode, turn it on. And listen to your compressor. The sounds a compressor makes indicate how healthy it is. Your compressor should just make a smooth, even running noise. Anything that sounds harshly metallic or anything else is an indication of trouble. Definitely don't forget to clean out the inner shell as well, because dust and dirt can build up in here, and that will also really kill your efficiency. So take your scrub brush and your detergent and your hose nozzle and get to it.